Shalom everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, this is a quick word from the Lord. Um, he dropped this in my spirit this morning. I was up about um, 3.20 or so, and I'm um, kind of reflecting. It's my son's fifth birthday, which is pretty, um, you know, the number five, so pretty profound for me and uh, the, the family. Um, but the Lord uh, this morning dropped this in my spirit, and um, he wanted me to, to share it um, right away. And so as you can see, the, the, um, the title is called Come Now Season 5780. 5780. And 5780 is pertaining to the Hebrew New, New Year, the God's calendar that he's on. We know the um, Gregorian calendar in January, um, but the Lord follows his calendar, 5780. And we're in a season that that is being synced. Um, we are entering that. It is, is now. So he's saying this is come now season. He wanted me to start uh, with two scriptures. But before I do that, I'll pray. Uh, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your love. Thank you for this word over your people, Father God. We thank you for your mercy and your grace. We thank you for your joy and just who you are, that you are faithful to the end. For you are the author and finisher of our faith, Father. You are the Alpha and the Omega. And that whatever door you open, no man can shut. And whatever door you shut, no man can open. And so that we trust in your word for it is everlasting and it does not come back void no matter the time no matter the season no matter what the circumstance around us that looks like that you are faithful in everything that you will quiet the storm that you will bind up the snake and the serpent and you have already decreed and declared it for you have already won the victory long ago that you stand outside of our time and you decree and declare over your people that you are praying and interceding on the throne so we just thank you and we join in partnership with you father for this over this word and for just the continuation of pushing us to our destiny and for what you have on your kingdom agenda that is in motion right now and so we thank you for for the strength and the energy we thank you for the renewal of faith we thank you for the just the the blessings that you're about to release father to your faithful ones in jesus name we pray amen Okay, so Joshua 1, a lot of you know this, Joshua 1, verse 7 to 9, it says, Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left. To the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then, then, it's the conditional, then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and very courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And then he also wanted me to read Colossians chapter 4, verse 2, uh, verse 2 to 6. Colossians chapter 4, verse 2 to 6. And it says, Be persistent in prayer and keep alert as you pray, giving thanks to God. At the same time, pray also for us so that God will be with us it will give us a good opportunity to preach his message about the secret of Christ, for that is why I am now in prison. Pray then that I may speak as, as I should in such a way as to make it clear. Be wise in the way you act toward those who are not believers, making good use of every opportunity you have. Your speech your speech should always be pleasant and interesting. You should know how to give the right answer to everyone. And that's the Holy Spirit in you that's going to be able to do that and as you submit to him. So I'm going to go right into the word now. As Again, it's called Come Now Season. And the Lord's saying, come and do what you think you can't do for my power is within you to finish what I have started like never before. Come now so you can dine with me, my daughter, my son. Come and fight. Come and do the thing I have asked you most to do with frequency. 
I have confirmed over and over what to do. Come now and enter into that season. Come now and enter into your season of rising beyond what you have always known to be true. It's come now season because I am coming. I am already here. Don't delay any longer. Don't delay any longer, says living God. I will make a way for you, but you must choose to move when I say go. So go, my child, my spirit, my wind, my love, my glory is with you. It's your come now season. It's your time to run. Don't pass this season as I enter with my glory carriers. Come now with me, my love, my child. Come now and do what I have called you to do. You won't regret it. You won't regret it, says the living God. I am, I can do in three days what you cannot do in your own strength in a lifetime, in a lifetime. I perfected the cross, so too shall I perfect you. So trust me now and come, come do and become for we are one. Your father in heaven loves you. And he says, happy new year. He says, happy new year. For, and that, that's the word he gave me for you guys. It's very brief, but he wanted me to share that. That this is the come now season. So whatever he's frequently has been showing you for a while. Maybe it's been in the past and you just weren't picking it. But he's like, you've had enough confirmation now it's time to trust me and to focus and do that one thing or two things he's called you to do because that's the thing that he's going to use and he wants you to launch with him into this season that we are already in right now you know and we're approaching it starting tomorrow 50 the year 5780 or tonight really and so uh, he just wanted me to release that and welcome to all the new subscribers um you know this I, i've said it my name is monique you obviously uh you can see everything in the description box of the video and um this is a ministry of love and truth and we flow with the spirit of the lord as well as in obedience because obedience is better than sacrifice you know if you find my testimony you can see it there but i talk a lot on different videos about you know the walk that i've done with the lord and just others it you know and every uh testimony you read in the word of god you know from abraham and on you know in hebrews the hall of fame right the hall of faith is about obedience to the to, to the faithfulness of god right your faith must combine with action and so God is just saying that this is the come now season, so you must align with him for what you what you have wanted so much um, before and to not look at the enemy. You need to you know continue in worship. A lot of you are doing that. A lot of some of you are on fast right now, which is great. If you're not, you can enter into a 21 day fast to cleanse and enter into the new season with the Lord. If you can't do that, a three day, you know, one meal a day as well. You can go to the Lord with that. Um, uh, if you know you decide to partner and do and, and to to do the fast um, to, to enter into the new, the new season but he wants you to celebrate and be excited but also be in movement God works in our motion and our own in our obedience once we follow the spirit not what we think but what he's calling us what he's already confirmed over and over so he just wanted me to, re to release that and also just a thank you for those in the past who've donated and given that's helped the ministry and help um you know the one or two things god has asked me right now as i grow to personally assist um there is a a, a lady and her daughter that i've since january helped on my own and then since uh, may you know as you guys have donated here and there i've helped them um, and they were in their wilderness season just to, you know, provide provision for food and all of that. Um, and now the Lord is having me 
um, help them transition to their promised land from New Jersey to Texas. So he just wanted me to briefly share if if you feel led, obviously go to the Lord. If you feel led, if you want to um, give to that um, transporting, because I'm going to literally, literally drive them. Um, so if you want to assist with that um, and you feel led by the Lord, just go to the Lord and, you know, you he'll, he'll, you know, speak to you on that or not. But that helps as well as just your prayers thank you so much for all your prayers and for those who are new um to the ministry to the channel this is you know um i'm in a, a, the lord doing some things behind the scenes i can't talk about right now but i will in the future and there'll be more activity you know, with the channel as well so stay tuned for that thank you guys we love you very much praying over all of you for you to be courageous and bold and strong in the lord because he has given us everything we need to conquer in this season and in our life. But we just have to align with him and be not afraid and to worship and to move when he says go. And that's how he works. You know, Proverbs tells us as you step out in faith, as you go bit by bit, he will open the way. The way will be made clear as you move. And so just to encourage you guys, just to keep moving forward, stay in your word, stay in worship. And I will see you on the next broadcast. Shalom.